So let's look now at our symbol data attributes. We're going to create our own symbol. First thing we do is we make sure that our drawing is added to the project like usual. I've created a new separate drawing and I'm doing it subsequent again like I've done in previous sections in all the videos we've done so far. I'll add the active drawing and say yes to applying the project default values. So we'll right click properties, drawing properties, make sure that sequentially we're numbering properly. Again, get into the habit of doing this, saves a lot of time later. OK, so we've got symbol data attributes. I'm going to go to the home tab. I'm going to make sure I'm using the zero layer. Whenever you're creating new symbols, they are AutoCAD blocks. So create them on layer zero, and then when they come into the drawing, they go onto the appropriate layers that they need to go on to when you're using your layering system in AutoCAD Electrical. Now, I'm just going to draw something very, very simple on layer zero. First thing I'm going to do is a circle, center radius, and using the snap and grid, I'll snap to that point there on that particular wire and click. And then as I drag outwards, I'm going to make that 0.25 radius, and there's my circle. I'm then going to go to the polygon command and do the same again. Four sides, center of the polygon will be the center of the circle. So let's do a drag over there, and I can snap to that point there. That's excellent, because snap and grid's on. I'm going to do this circumscribed about the circle, and I'm going to take this out, and I can take it that way, or I can take it that way. I'm going to make the radius of this particular circle 0.5. And there's my symbol that I might use. It's just literally a square and a circle. That's all it is. Nothing special. And you'll see there that it's in context. It's a reasonable size, maybe a little bit big. But I'm not going to worry about that too much right now. So how do I make this into a symbol with data attributes in my AutoCAD electrical drawing? I go to the schematic tab on the ribbon. And right over here on the right hand side, in the other tools, I've got Symbol Builder. So if I click on that icon there, it now shows me the bits that I can edit when I'm creating my symbol. It's very similar to creating a block in standard vanilla AutoCAD. Now the name of it at the moment is unknown. Don't worry about that. We're going to select the objects exactly the same as the AutoCAD block command. So there's the objects. Right click to confirm. Two objects selected. I need the insertion point, so I pick point. And I'm going to use the center of the circle, so I'll do a shift and right click there. Or remember, we've got snap and grid on. Easy. Attribute template, library path. This is going to HYD ISO 125. I don't want it to go there. I want it to go to JIC1, which is our JIC American Imperial Standard Library. Make sure it goes there. Symbol, it's going to be a vertical parent because what we're using there, if I drag this dialog down, is we're using the vertical lines of the rungs of that wiring ladder. So it's a vertical parent. The lines that need to be edited are vertical. Type, it's going to be a control relay. So everything is done. And what we're going to do there is we're just going to hold it there. And then in the next video and the next drawing, we're going to look at taking this further and editing the attributes in AutoCAD Electrical.